Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on 15 puzzle problem using least cost branch and bound in design and analysis of algorithms. In the previous video, we are already discussed about uh, what is 15 puzzle problem, how we are solving the 15 puzzle problem that we are discussed in the previous video. Now in this video, how 15 puzzle problem can be solved using least cost branch and bound. Okay, so this is a 16 capacity square frame. On that 16 capacity square frame, we have to place 15 tiles that are numbered from 1 to 15, but one tile is empty tile. Okay. This empty tile can be moved either in left direction or right direction or up direction or down direction. Okay, so there are uh, four directions are there. The empty tile can be moved. Okay, so the right direction, the left direction, up direction, right direction. Okay, so based on that, so this is up direction, this is a right direction, this is a down direction and this is a left direction. Okay, suppose this empty tile can be moved up, so 3 becomes down and empty tile can be moved up. Okay, so this is the outcome of by moving empty tile from upwards, one step upwards. This is the outcome we are getting. Okay, this empty tile can be moved to up and three can be moved to down. So this is the outcome we are getting. The remaining tiles cannot be changed. Okay, next. So this empty tile can be moved to right. Okay, so this empty tile can be moved to right. Eight can be moved to left. Okay, so eight can be moved to left. Empty tile can be moved to right. So this is the outcome we are getting. Okay. Next one. This empty tile can be moved to down. Okay. So this empty tile can be moved down. After that, the seventh tile can be moved to up. So this is the outcome we are getting. Okay. Next one. The empty tile can be moved to left. So this empty tile can be moved to left. Sixth tile can be moved to right. So this is the outcome we are getting. Okay, next one. So now consider uh, this uh, node. So this is uh, node 1. Initial arrangement is node 1. So after moving the empty tile to upward direction one step, we are getting node 2. Moving the moving empty tile one step to the right, we are getting this node 3. So down node 4, we are getting left node 5, we are getting. Okay, next one. Now consider node 2. Okay, so this empty tile can be moved to uh, left direction or right direction. There is no possibility of moving up direction. Okay. Suppose this empty tile can be moved to down direction, we are getting the same so that the down move cannot be used. Only left and right moves can be used. Okay. This empty tile can be moved to either left direction or right direction, but there is no possibility of moving up direction. Suppose it can be moved to down direction. So the same node 1 we are getting. So because of that reason, the down move cannot be used. Okay. So next one. Suppose, so we have to take the right move. Okay. The empty tile can be moved to right direction. So 4 can be moved to this place and empty tile can be moved to this place. So this is the outcome we are getting. So this is node 6 because node 5, a, node five is ended in level 1. This is, a le this is level 1 and this is level 2. Level 1 contains only node 1. Level 2 contains node 2, node 3, node 4, node 5. After that, 
uh, in level 3 this is the first node that is node 6 okay next one the empty tile can be moved to left direction okay the empty tile can be moved to left direction the tile 2 can be moved to this position empty tile can be moved to this position so this is the outcome this is the node 7 okay next one now consider this one node 3 okay so here the empty tile can be moved to up direction empty tile can be moved to left direction empty tile can be moved to left direction same we are getting so that left direction cannot be used empty tile can be moved to up direction empty tile can be moved to down direction empty tile cannot be moved to right direction because there is no tile is, there is no tile is there at the right hand side okay so it is ended okay so only up direction and down direction we have to use so empty tile can be moved to left direction so this is the node one we are getting so because of that reason so left no left move cannot be used okay up direction so empty tile can be moved to up direction 4 can be moved to this place, empty tile can be moved to this place. So, this is the outcome we are getting. This is node 8. Okay. Next one, empty tile can be moved to down direction. So, this empty tile can be moved to 11th position. 11th tile can be moved to uh, empty tile position. So, this is the outcome we are getting. So, this is node 9. Okay. Next one. So, now consider node 4. Okay, so the empty tile can be moved to up direction. Okay, so node 1 we are getting so that uh, up, up direction move cannot be used at this place. The empty tile can be moved to left direction. The empty tile can be moved to right direction. The empty tile can be moved to down direction. Okay. So, the empty tile can be moved to right direction, 11th tile can be moved to this place and empty tile can be moved to this place. So, no return we are getting. Okay. Next one, the empty tile can be moved to down direction, 15th tile can be moved to this position, empty tile can be moved to this position. So, this is the outcome we are getting. This is node 11. Okay. Next one, the empty tile can be moved to left direction. 10th tile can be moved to this place and empty tile can be moved to this place. So then, so node 12 we are getting. Okay, next one. Now consider node 5. Okay, so node 5, so the empty, the empty tile can be moved to right, then we are getting the node 1. So that uh, right movement cannot be used here. Okay. So, the empty tile can be moved to left direction, up direction and down direction. Okay. Suppose the empty tile can be moved to left direction. So, tile 2 can be moved to down and uh, empty tile can be moved to up. So, this is node 13 we are getting. Okay. Next, empty tile can be moved to down. Tenth tile can be moved to this place and empty tile can be moved to this place. So, this is node 14 we are getting. Next, uh, empty tile can be moved to left position. Fifth tile can be moved to this place. Empty tile can be moved to this place. So, this is the, the remaining tiles cannot be changed. So, node 5, the outcome is the node 15. Okay, next one. Now, consider uh, node 6. Okay, consider node 6. So, this is the empty tile. Empty tile cannot be moved to right direction because so that this is a 16, 16 capacity square frame ended at this position. So because of that reason the empty tile cannot be moved to right direction. Next the empty tile can be moved to left direction we are getting node 2. Okay the empty tile can be moved to only cannot be moved to up direction okay because the 16 capacity square frame ended okay there is no up direction so because of this reason only one move is available that is so the empty tail can be moved to down direction only 
so this uh, this move only exists the remaining moves cannot be possible okay so one one direction is possible that is left direction uh, that is right direction if we move to right direction if we move uh, if we move to right direction we are getting node 2 okay so only down direction is possible so the empty tile can be moved to down direction eighth tile can be moved to this place empty tile can be moved to this place so this is a uh, node 16 we are getting okay now consider node 7 okay so the empty tile can be moved to uh, left we are getting node 2 the empty tile can be moved to the empty tile can be moved to right then we are getting node 2 so that right uh, right move cannot be used here the empty tile can be left direction yes it is possible the empty tile can be down direction it is possible the empty tile cannot be moved to up direction because the 16 capacity square frame ends with this position so because of that reason up direction cannot be possible only down and left are possible if we go for right uh, if we go for right the node 2 we are getting because of that reason a right movement cannot be used okay so down direction this uh, tile can be moved to down okay so sixth tile can be moved to up we are getting node 7 okay next left direction this tile can be moved to left node 1 can be moved to this place so this is the outcome we are getting that is node 18 okay next now consider node 8 okay so here what are the possible movements are there up direction it is not possible right direction it is not possible only left direction left direction it is possible uh, down direction we are getting node 3 same okay only left direct left move is only possible okay so it can be moved to left now uh, tile 3 can be moved to this place empty tile can be moved to this place we are getting node 19 okay next one go to node 9 okay node 9 here right direction is not possible left dire uh, left direction as it is possible down direction as it is possible up direction we are getting the same node 3 okay so only two moves are possible down movement down and left okay first so we can take down so this empty tile can be moved to down 12th tile can be moved to this position empty tile can be moved to this position then we are getting node 20 okay next one uh, left direction the empty tile can be moved to this place tile 7 can be moved to this place this is the outcome we are getting that is that can be treated as node 21 okay now consider node 10 okay so node this is the empty tile empty tile can be moved to uh, left direction we are getting the same node that is node 4 so left movement cannot be used okay empty tile can be moved to up as it is possible we can take the up movement empty tile can be moved to down as it is possible this is down movement empty tile cannot be moved to right direction okay so then only up and down are you up and down movements are used if we go to uh, right there is no possible if we go to left we are getting node 4 so then up movement we are considered by considering the up movement so uh, empty tile can be moved to this position and eighth tile can be moved to this position so this is the outcome it can be treated as node 22 okay next uh, down movement the empty tile can be moved to this place 12th tile can be moved to this place this is the outcome so this is the goal arrangement okay goal arrangement means empty tile is there at the end position okay so this is the end position so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay so this is our goal arrangement okay this is the initial arrangement 
our main objective is to transform the initial arrangement to goal arrangement at node 23 we are getting the goal arrangement so further there is no extension of these node 12 node 30 node 14 node 15 okay only our goal is we are getting the goal arrangement for the initial arrangement once we are getting the goal arrangement we have to stop the extension of the procedure because our objective is reached okay now so now uh, cost function can how we are calculated c cap of x is equal to f of x plus g cap of x f of x means length of the path from root node to x node for example so node 23 is the goal arrangement okay so this is node x this is the root node node 1 is the root node okay what is the length of the path from root node to this node so this is the level 1 and this is the level 2 and this is the level 3 and this is the level 4 okay so this is level 4 so level 4 so 1 edge second edge and third edge 4 minus 1 that is 3 so length of the path from root node to node x is how many number of edges between them from root node to goal node that is node x this is one edge this is second edge this is third edge so length of the path is three okay next g cap of x is equal to number of non-blank tiles which are not in the goal position for node x okay so these are the tiles non-blank tiles these are the non-blank tiles except this tile okay how many number of tiles cannot be there in their goal position okay so all tiles are there in their goal position so because of that reason g cap of x is equal to 0 for this node okay so therefore c cap of 23 is equal to length of the path from root node to node x this is the node x length of the path from root node to node x is nothing but number of edges between them this is the first edge this is the second edge this is the third edge so therefore f of x is equal to 3 plus how many number of tiles that are not there in their goal position all tiles are there in their goal position so then g cap of x is equal to 0 so 3 plus 0 that is equal to 3 so this is the cost of that node x this is the lower bound value lower bound value on node x is equal to 3 okay so this is the formula c cap of x is equal to f of x plus g, g cap of x okay now how we are calculating these cost okay so c cap of 1 c cap of 2 up to c cap of 23 okay first one c cap of 1 okay so c cap of 1 is equal to c cap of 1 is equal to f of x so this is the node x length of the path from root node to node x so this is a, a node x okay so length of the path how what is the length of the path from root node to node x so root node is same node x is same so that is 0 plus how many number of tiles that are not there in their goal position 1 it is there in their goal position 2 it is already there 3 it is already there in their goal position 4 it is already there 5 it is already there 6 it is already there 7 7 uh, tile cannot be there in their position that is the wrong position 8 already correct position 9th already correct position 10th already correct position 7th here this tile cannot be there in their correct goal position so that is two wrong positions 11 this is also wrong position 3 13 14 15 so this is not considered because one empty tile is there okay or it, if it can be considered subtract minus one okay total four four minus one that is three so that is equal to zero plus three is equal zero plus three is equal to three okay so next one 
for node 2 how we are calculated so the length of the path from root node to node x this is node x length of the path from root node to node x is 1 1 plus how many number of tiles that are not in their goal position okay 1 already correct position 2 correct position 3 it is not there 4 okay 5 okay 6 okay it is not correct position 2 8 correct position 9 correct position 10 correct position 7 it is not correct position 11 it is not correct position so 4 this is not correct position this is correct position this is correct position this is correct position this is not correct position 5 5 minus 1 that is 4 so 1 plus 4 that is equal to 5 okay so in this way we have to calculate all the all the uh, lower bound values okay now consider this node 6 okay how we are getting node 6 okay so what is this is node x length of the root from this node to this node okay so one edge and second edge so that is a f of x is equal to 2 how many number of edges from root node to this node that is 2 plus how many number of wrong tiles positions compared to the goal position okay 1 2 this is wrong position this is wrong position uh, this is wrong positions up to now three wrong positions fourth wrong position fifth wrong position sixth wrong position six wrong positions are there so six minus one that is five two plus five that is equal to seven okay in this way we have to do to do that one next this level we have to solve one one example for node 16 so for node 16 so that is what is the length of this is node x length of the path from root node to this node so that is first edge second edge third edge so node 16 this is 3 plus how many number of wrong positions that when we are compared to uh, goal position okay how many number of tiles that are in wrong position when compared to the goal position 1 2 already correct 3 it is not there and uh, 8 it is not there 2 wrong positions 5 6 these are 2 wrong positions so 4 wrong positions 9 10 this is wrong position this is wrong position 6 wrong positions 13 okay 14 okay 15 okay 12 this is 7th wrong position okay so 7 minus 1 that is a 6 3 plus 6 is equal to 9 so in this way we have to find out the lower bound for a node okay lower bound for a node next so least cost branch and bound where we are applied okay so now uh, this cost is equal to 3 okay next what is this cost node 2 cost is uh, 5 node uh, 3 cost node 3 cost is also 5 node 4 cost is 3 node 5 cost is 5 okay M okay node 1 cost is 3 node 2 cost is 5 node 3 cost is 5 node 4 cost is 3 node 5 cost is 5 so 5 3 5 5 among all the four nodes node 4 has the least cost this node is considered the remaining nodes are killed the remaining nodes are killed so this is nothing but bounding bounding is nothing but we have to kill the nodes except the minimum cost node this is nothing but branching okay now so node 4 can be extended we are getting node 10 node 11 node 12 node 10 cost is a 3 so that is a c cap of 10 is equal to 3 node 11 cost is also 5 node 12 cost is also 5 3 5 5 among the uh, three nodes node 10 has the minimum cost so node 11 is killed node 12 is killed okay so now so for node 10 there are two children node 22 node 23 so node 22 cost is 5 node 23 cost is 3 so among the two node which node has the minimum cost node 23 has the minimum cost now node 23 is the active node so this node is killed node 22 is killed 
So node 23 is the goal arrangement. So this is the goal arrangement. So now we do not, we stop the extension of this procedure. Okay, because we are getting the goal arrangement. So C cap of 23 is equal to 3. So this is the state space tree for 15 puzzle problem using least cost branch and bound. So thank you.